That's a lot of mulch. It's gonna smell in there. Today we're getting to a couple of little projects that we've been meaning to do, such as repairing this floor. Um, right here there's a chip that was coming up, so we used this glue from my dad that he loves to smush it down with a little hammer action. And then some floor putty to blend that corner in. It's looking okay. We were also at Lowe's and tried to find some um, matching floor because there's a couple pieces that could benefit from uh, a new floorboard or a little bit where there's missing. They're not too far off. Like it would probably blend in a side bit, but we might keep looking. This one looked a lot better before it started drying. Um, it doesn't have the sheen of the floor and the putty, so we're gonna have to figure out how to match that because this is turning out really obvious as it gets a little drier. Oh, Noodle, what do you think? Do you approve? Okay, bye. The new dust setup finally worked. I don't think I see that I have any stuff in between my eyes or in my nose, really. But we're doing sanding number four, five, 10,052? I don't really know at this point. So far, I've sanded everything pretty much to this level or level of the window in this room all the way around. So everything here is looking nice and smooth. There's a few spots, of course, where it's got some low spots. You can kind of see some of the tape starting to peer up. So definitely we'll need a final skim, but I think we're like 95% there, which is really nice. But after all that, I made a mess. I gotta vacuum before I do any more. Hearing that? <laughs> Changes pitch every time. Well, I finished the, what, 5 million and 12th sanding on these walls. And I think what we're doing now is just focusing really on these three sections right here. Because if we get this done, then we can put the vanity in, we can get the mirror up, we can get the lighting back. A lot of things can move forward and then we can kind of focus on this part of the bathroom. At least here we would have a sink that works and storage. All that good stuff. And we have the new lights coming. I did order those, so hopefully that will give us some extra motivation because they come in about a week or so. So maybe, hopefully by then, we'll have something put together enough that we can put that on the wall. This is a before shot of the garden before we pull everything out, do a ton of weeding, and then find final homes for some of the plants. There's some succulents, the hibiscus, mallow, guava back there, more succulents, um, including some just planted. Mystery citrus, uh, papaya, sad papaya, fuchsia that's about to bloom, and then our lemon tree. Now let's start off this week with some more bathroom stuff. So we had, or I had sanded everything down, so we haven't put any other coats on that yet. It's still just in its last sanding state, but we'll get to that later. For now, I wanna actually finish something in this bathroom and all we have to do here is attach the hose from this fan, this little assembly right here that's tucked out of the way to the new vent that we put in when we got the roof done. So I got the vent right here, the pipe, and some tape. So we'll get that all put back together and maybe we can have one less hole and actually seal this thing up. Let's see if this works. Yay. So hard to get in there tiny little bit, but got the vent. At least it's close, so there is not really anywhere to go wrong. You wanna do the honors? Flip it. Flip the switch. Wow! We have light. We have a fan. Just me, does that not sound great? <laughs> we have to fix this patch right here, but mm -hmm. otherwise all good. All right, bathroom project number two today in Bathroom number two. We're getting rid of this mirror because it's not exactly our style. It's 
kind of awful really. So last week we went to Lowe's and in addition to getting a bunch of mulch we got this mirror because it was a pretty good deal, a lot cheaper than the other one we were considering getting online. So decided to pick that up and might as well put that on the wall. So that way we can get rid of this thing. We also have another vanity light, same as the master bathroom. It's the exact same model, just shorter. So that's coming next week as well. So we'll get this one done in the meantime though. Okay, this is kind of funny. I just pulled this off of the wall and realized a few things. Now, this is how it was set up. So this was on the top, this was on the bottom, right? We had this little piece of residual goop on the very top. You can see right here that the top is very dusty. Clearly this was up, that was down. But if we look on the back side here, where was this being held up? It was being held up here in this little pocket of the design. It was just shoved up there. Why? When, if you look at the very bottom, there's the hook right there, like you would see on any other picture frame or mirror. Why didn't they put it on correctly? They had this on upside down. That was the easiest install ever in the history of this house because it was held up with one center bolt, which thankfully is more or less in line with the sink. It's on the stud. So I don't even have to take out the screw that was holding in the old mirror. I just put it on this new mirror and don't worry, I put it on the correct way using the correct bracket. So it should stay very nice and flush to the wall and makes this bathroom look a lot nicer has to be said. The yard work continues, but now out front, got these bulbs at Costco, and now we are lining the walkway. Ooh, the sun just poked out. There's 14 bulbs that'll be planted in here. Along the way, we found some roots, either from the bushes or the trees. We don't quite know. We also found that the sprinkler system works by manually turning it on and found a couple of sprinkler heads, including one very vigorous one over by the tree. Took some pictures because I'm going to apply for a water-wise lawn removal program where I take a couple classes um, and then the water district will set me up with a one-on-one -on -one yard designer so we can get rid of the lawn and go to a low water uh, system. Yay! I finally finished a project that I was going to do like the first week but never got around to it. These shelves above the sink are just kind of resting right here on the grout or on the tile I should say and then there is a little shelf bracket thingy right here but there is nothing in this corner so I've had these corner brackets for months now at this point but I finally put them in and also put a couple up here in the center because this one does have the four brackets but this is actually a new shelf because the old one got some water on it, but it is a little bowed out and we're hoping that with some weight as well as with these two brackets, having pushed it down and then drilled into the wall on the stud, that this should hold up and be a little bit more secure. We're six months, five months, five and a half. <laughs> Almost six months in. And finally putting up our first piece of wall art. Yes. You supervising noodles? Is this right? <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Love you. Love you too. Aww. Love you too. We're doing finishing touches! Finishing Here's touches. Like, um, little patches where there's been scrapes and stuff. We should probably do that. And then that stupid little strip right there. Yeah. You can kind of see where the texture was we behind it. We think put in the door later on. Yeah. I just left a little weird lip that was originally textured. They didn't really think through the door frame, did they? Minus these small little patches, like I think this wall is ready to go. I wiped it down earlier. Looking good. So we can get all the dust off, of course, before we prime it. I think we'll be able to prime this afternoon. Garden update. Yesterday, Alex and I went to the Atkinson Plumeria farm sale, and I got another Plumeria. I'm a sucker for punishment, I guess, because now I have to figure out how to properly root them. Got that guy, had that one. And then a couple of these larger center cuttings, um, which are already potted up. Uh, hopefully they don't rot. We're going to keep an eye on them. This is the progress in the garden so far after a weekend of work. So pulled out a ton of weeds um, and started smoothing out the dirt. Still have all that patch to go, but we're getting there. 
found a lot of snails. I'm going to try to relocate them to the front yard so they don't eat my plants. Um, they have been going to town on this poor second papaya. So they're welcome in other parts of the yard, but not on the plants I want to keep. Filled up almost this entire yard waste bin so far. And then I relocated all the plants over to the side yard for now um, to get them out of the way of the garden. Some of these will eventually go in the ground. The hibiscus will have to find a spot for because it won't be happy in pots forever. Um, this guy's about to bloom for the first time. And then all the succulents will eventually go in the front yard in a sort of uh, low water native plant area, even though these aren't native. Started smoothing out this part too. So when we get rain, the drainage isn't as poor. There's a lot of succulents. Alex helped me get 15 one gallon pots like two weekends ago um, to plant some of the succulents I've been getting for free from a really nice lady in the Mesa. And I've used up 14 of those pots so far. So my collection is rapidly growing. Okay, I don't think this is a fuchsia plant like I initially thought it was. This does not look like what they are supposed to look like online. So it's a mystery plant for now. Once we get the garden all cleared out, leveled out, I find out where the sprinklers are and get the that system done, plant the trees, and then all this mulch will be going in there. We got just enough that we can get a rebate from our Helix Water District and only pay about $15 for all this mulch after it was on sale at Lowe's. Not a bad price. Our wedding snake plant is outside today uh, because of our lovely cat who has figured out she can get up on the shelves in the kitchen. We came downstairs earlier today and found the plant overturned on the ground uh, because someone must have gotten up on that shelf and yanked it down. And lots of gobbled up pieces on the ground, which is not great, even though snake plant isn't toxic. <sighs> so no more plants in our kitchen. Right now everything is living. Over here, which is a very large vertical distance from the nearest spot Noodle can reach. And hopefully we'll keep everything safe from little gobbling cats. Oh my God, we have color on the wall. It's a miracle. We actually can see some progress. So this weekend we picked out a couple of colors. We wanted this to be an accent wall with some green. And then the other walls are all going to be, basically all of these, everything that's kept the tile is gonna be a light cream color. So not far off from what we're seeing currently. A little uh, sloppy, a little different, working with a smooth surface and a foam roller. So I'm letting this dry and then I'll do a second coat of that and then we'll do the other right here so we can decide which one to go with and put on the entire wall. Then we can get really going with this and actually put the vanity in and actually get the light fixture up. <laughs> do you really want this to go on the internet? No. <laughs> it's true. You still want to do this. <laughs> okay. funny. You know, I could kind of see you through this anyway. <laughs> Better. <laughs> it was the middle of the night when we were woken by a cling. But yes, we heard such a clatter in the middle of the night. It was three in the morning. Yeah. And what could it be? We should have looked at the reviews because this was all that was on the wall. The bracket just completely popped off. And you discovered everyone's mirror falls off. You gotta check that apparently even though you're buying it in store and uh, it's annoying yeah so we got a garbage mirror but we're going to return it i will give it one thing it didn't break at all and the frame is pretty much held up but no point if it can't stay on the wall mm -hmm. so back to lowe's you go look what showed up we have lights in here mm -hmm. do they work let's find out Wow. Holy cow. That's a lot of light. <laughs> That's really bad. The camera adjusted for it, but yeah. yeah We're thinking that this switch might be the one that we add a dimmer to the toggle. Because it is, it's a lot of light. There's six bulbs in there. One of these things is not like the other. We'll one of these was pulled from the old one. Noodles. But we'll fix that one. Noodles. This looks pretty good. It'll give us a good idea too of now with the light how these two colors go and we both had a decision or an initial thought of which color we liked and we both chose this one so that's probably what we're going to go with but this gives us another perspective 
of what it looks like in the dark with the lights on. I like that one even more. You like that one even more? Yeah. Yeah. I do too. It gives it more of a green. This one's much more, it's, it's too dark. Even with the light, it still looks kind of, it also gives 70s avocado vibes, which is, I'm not ready for that.